We're here today to bring attention to the level of police violence that is pretty unprecedented in this country for a very long time. We, uh, many of the people here came to the Twin Cities to protest the Republican Convention. And unfortunately, their peaceful protests were met with indiscriminate police violence. We started the week out with a series of house raids by uh, Ramsey County sheriffs and Minneapolis police and St. Paul police. There were three raids in Minneapolis, two raids in St. Paul, one on the convergent space. Later in the week, we saw uh, an array of weaponry used against protesters. We saw police using tear gas, pepper spray, rubber bullets, tasers, and brute force against protesters. Uh, Mayor Chris Coleman made an announcement in the media this morning, today's paper, that said he felt the uh, convention was a, was a big success. He mentioned nothing about police violence on the streets. He mentioned nothing about people being held in jail for longer than they should have been. He mentioned nothing about overcharging protesters. This is unacceptable. This is a response that is completely unacceptable. I went arrived at 12th and Cedar. We were, uh, many people were engaged in a sit-in. I was standing in front of the march holding the banner along with another person. And at that point, uh, the police were trying very much to prevent us from speaking out. <clears throat> I was shot at close range with a rubber bullet. I'd like you to see what happened. Mm. And later, later, I was arrested for unlawful assembly and taken to the jail. I think people have a right to speak out against the war in Iraq and demand peace, justice, and equality. I was glad to participate in the demonstration organized by the anti-war committee, and I commend them for organizing it. And before the march had even started, I was snatched and grabbed by about seven or eight riot police in park property, doing nothing but standing while doing independent media. Today, I have been told that I have a fracture in my arm um, due to the position that they had me in as they drug me into a cop car to basically disappear me and my camera from the day's events. On Tuesday, I met with a group of friends of mine who were going to um, take part in what I understood to be a permitted assembly at Mears Park and also to be followed by what I understood to be a permitted uh, march. And as we started to head out of the park and down into the street in the march route, the permitted march route, um, I was assaulted by cops. Uh, I was never told that I was arrested. I was never told anything at all. I was grabbed by my shirt, taken by surprise, and then knocked unconscious by um, being shot by tasers in my hip and in my butt. Neither of which I knew at the time. I just fell unconscious to the ground. And when I came back uh, to consciousness, I had cops all over me. I had someone kneeling on my head. I had people punching me. I had cops punching me. I was being tased in my hand over and over and over and over in my legs. I didn't know what was going on. I thought maybe at the time that I was getting hit by a club over and over, I looked down and there was just this electric shock being pulsed into my legs over and over. The cops were screaming at me, stop resisting, stop resisting, stop resisting. But because I was having this electricity pulse through my body, I was having convulsions. And so I couldn't stop moving. I didn't even realize that I had these two uh, taser protrusions still inside of my hip until I was in a car. When I told the officers that I needed to get these out of me, they let me sit in that car with these pieces of metal in me for another hour and a half. I was biking um, alongside of a march and I, um, a, a, a officer on a bicycle crashed into me and um, I got up and apologized uh, and they said it wasn't on purpose and then, but they continued to arrest me. 
um, stating that I assaulted a police officer. I was then taken to Ramsey County Jail. Uh, several officers uh, opened my cell and said that I was going in a restraining chair. And I asked what this restraining chair was, where were you taking me, where were you taking me? And the officer punched me in the face, right here. Um, he knocked me on the ground unconscious. Um, and then while I was on the ground unconscious, he took my head and slammed it on the ground and um, reawoke me from consciousness. And that caused this gash right here. Um, I immediately uh, uh, reawakening uh, into consciousness, I began screaming and crying, asking for help why they did that. Um, and uh, several officers picked me up and dragged me out, leaving behind um, a large pool of blood. You guys came up to his cell and told him to shut the fuck up. And uh, we were all making the same amount of noise. In fact, we didn't really hear much from him. But and Elliot was the only one by himself. Yeah, all and, you know, it was, I saw the guard tackle him, hit his head against the ground. And uh, that's the last I saw, but then 13 guards swarmed him. What did you guys see? I was just jumped on him, had him face down on the ground, his arm behind his back, and they were slamming his face in the ground. And after about a minute, yeah, about 10 of the guards came in. They were all standing around. And all of a sudden, I, I can't fucking make any assumption yeah. But he was definitely screaming like for about 15 minutes, and then there was like a five-minute silence. And there wasn't anything. Yeah. And then he was dragged out, and he was screaming again after he that. Was yeah. Just... Bleeding from his head quite profusely, from what we saw. He was yeah. he couldn't hardly move. And the... yeah, they had him hogtied, like his arms behind his back, and then they had both legs spread out. So they had him like this, face down, carrying him out. Like every every person in that cell block knew what was going on. Yeah. They took me in. Uh, they. Uh, then took me into the hallway and put a bag over my head that uh, and I could not see. It was slightly transparent, um, but it blurred my vision and it had a gag around the mouth, so I couldn't make my words clearly. Um, they then uh, took me into a detaining cell by myself with several officers and they began using pain compliance tactics on me. What pain compliance is, it's a form of torture. What, what they did is they pressed right here as hard as they could uh, on both sides. Um, and it's a really sensitive nerve and muscle right there and uh, it hurts like no other pain I've ever felt in my life and um, they tr they wrap my leg uh, around my back and twisted my ankle backwards and it, and I was screaming and crying at this time and the more I screamed and cried the more they would uh, the harder they would press and the more they would twist my ankle. I, I'm, I'm gonna faint. I don't know what's happening. And then I, um, I vomited in this bag. Uh, they refused to take the bag off of my head. Um, they left that bag on my head for about two and a half, three hours. And um, on top of vomiting, I'm bleeding all over. Um, and they wouldn't clean any of my wounds or anything.